All right, what's your topic, Tetsuo? Well, I mean, I was going to talk about uh, my date with my wife the other night, but I don't think everybody's interested in that. No, please tell me. In <laughs> but we actually detail. I want to know all about this. Uh, what, what did you eat? Yeah. So we you go? we went out. We had a fun time and everything. <laughs> but so actually, <laughs> we did actually go to the hobby store. Picked up a couple Gundam models. If, if for everybody who's been listening up to this point, you guys know that that I have a large weakness for giant fighty robots. <laughs> like Meta has for samurai. It's true. Hey, Can't giant fighty robot samurai. Let me something there. has for memes. <laughs> <laughs> and but, I uh, have memes. but yeah, so we 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 went out and we um, got back in because I I used to do the Gundam models uh, when I was a kid and you know just kind of put them together i didn't didn't go hardcore on it or anything like that but it kind of coincided because i was wanting to and gundam now has an anime about the gundam models called gundam build fighter i know mal's watching it right now as well i think he actually has already passed me on episodes Uh, season two yeah (laughs) (laughs) but it's it's about these kids you know these people they they build the gundam models and then turn around and go to tournaments and fight them kind of similar to Yu-Gi-Oh or even a little bit like the Beyblade series. If you remember those, I say those, everybody remembers Yu-Gi-Oh of course, but <laughs> um, what does Pot agree do? <laughs> oh my God. Draw us two cards. Put them into your hand. Card. That is one thing. I haven't really seen the over the top explanations of every single little thing. Um, That's true. Yeah. Really? I mean, then again, too. So in in the show, what it is, they have these little um birth thing that I guess stores all your data, and you you plug it into the. No, there are thing. they use something called plasky particles that, for some reason, will let the plastic used in Gundam models move around, actually like shoot weapons. What? And wavy science excuse so that way your yeah, model it's, it's actually an anime. Move. Throw your brain out the window. There is, <laughs> yeah. I, they eventually what? do expand upon it, but it's it's later. Yeah, I, and I caught a little bit of that, so I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to totally tie it all in. But, it's a um, very silly series. So what's the what's like the main wa- story about? Like, who are the characters and stuff? So your main character, uh, Iori Sei, his father owns a uh, Gundam model shop out of the lower floor of their house. And he's this really great builder. So, so the thing about the models is, in addition to whatever you put together, it also depends on how well the models are put together. That's how strong the Gundam is. So you have the people who pilot it. That's some strength. But then also, if, if you know you put together the model really s- sloppily, it's not going to do too well. So this kid is really good at putting together the models, but he sucks at fighting. And his what is it? His dad's like, yeah, I think he won like the second annual tournament they're they're on the seventh at the time of the season and so he ends up finding a guy who uh because he wants he he has in his mind like a certain way to fight with them because like there's one kid who wants to fight with his models but he like just destroys models whenever he fights and so he's like no i don't want you to use my stuff he eventually finds a guy and so they enter into the tournament that's going to lead them to the world tournament kind of the, the local qualifiers and the guy pilots and he builds and it's it's there are the fight scenes, but it's almost as much that as it is just kind of, I don't want to say slice of life exactly, but it is kind of that same slice of life vein that you get in some animes. Like, do yeah. they go to school and have life problems and there, stuff like that? There actually is an episode at the school, but I mean, they don't, it's not like regularly. Yeah, as... it all focuses around the Gundam fighting and the tournament. Yeah, it's kind basically. of how the, okay. Yeah, okay. it's kind of how like the rest of the day, how the rest of their day will funnel into. The, the world tournament episode. takes up I think the last half. Yeah, the, yeah. I think it starts at like episode eight or so. The first season is yeah, one earlier, of the 23 or 24 episodes. So does the kid want to be the very best like no one ever was? Is that his goal? Yes. Yes. Well, I mean, that's always your goal, though, if it's yeah. you're entering into a tournament. Yeah. It's a very bad idea to walk into a tournament and go, you know, I don't know that I care to hit first place. So do like their models get destroyed if they lose or have, um, what are like the consequences yeah. of so, losing, if any? with the Plavsky particles, in addition to moving the models, whenever the Gundam like would fire like a laser rifle, it'll create a small laser beam. And so when that hits the plastic at the end of the, ep- uh, usually at the end of the fights, like you'll see them kind of laying in slight pieces or whatever. And they talk about how between fights he has to rebuild the shield or, you know, fix his leg joint or something like that. So I guess they do take damage to oh, a yeah. degree. Oh no. Um, like if they cut him in half of the laser sword, the models in half at the end of the fight. Yeah. 
So it's like the Gundams themselves are actually fighting. It's just their models. So you could easily like, you know, buy up 30 different torso runners of this one model and then you just switch out the torso okay. for the next fight or something like that. Are they like remote control or are the kids inside? No, so so yeah, so when they put the the little base into or the the little receiver into the base and they'll put their model on there and then the particles will also go around where the person's standing where the where they had put in their little jack thing uh, and yeah, form some sort of cockpit yeah it forms like a cockpit and so whoever's piloting will be like standing like in a gundam pilot's cockpit type deal guys the fighter is there but then the builder is standing off to the side so he's almost like in like a secondary cockpit or you know whatever support role you want to say and so they can communicate but but it's all it's all also hologram because like there's definitely times where somebody just runs out of the or runs into these yep. um things so they're just kind of holograms but it i guess it reads the way you move and then it will move your gundam accordingly it's pretty cool it's pretty interesting it's do not walk into it without the realization that it's made to sell their gundam models they are they have no qualms about making that known <laughs> it yeah. is very apparent yeah. that's one of my questions in my notes it says does this seem like a blatant cash grab kind of show to sell a product yeah. but but it's not <sighs> It's, it's an excuse to show off a bunch of different types of Gundams fighting without having to put the whole war, the like horrors of war around it, like you get from yeah. other Gundams. Here. It's a lot harder Gundam show, basically. Yeah. yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be kind of fun to be able to see like something like a Comfer start facing off against like new type Gundam or something like that. Just yeah, the different the, uh, major rivals is um his his is a uh, Camphor. Yes, the best One Gundam. Of them. Is that what you meant to say? <laughs> well, he, actually, it's, his it's specific model is called the gun, uh, the camp for amazing. That's his actual model. Well, name. That was actually the model that I bought on every, my, my wife. Yeah, well, every model nice. he uses, he says the blank amazing because he originally uses the uh, Zaku amazing, okay. which is a red char type model. That character is the char clone of. Are there oh any God. references to the old anime and stuff like that? Oh yes. Oh, they are everywhere. In, in the like first characters. Episode. Is there Shining well, Finger Sword? Tell me there's Shining Finger Sword. So, I haven't seen that yet. Tets hasn't gotten to the second season yet, but the whole second season is basically a homage to G Gundam. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, because in, in the first season, there's definitely somebody who's piloting um, Devil Gundam. But there's like one scene. So actually, one of the main characters, well, I say main, one of the main, I guess, secondary characters is Mr. Rowl, which if you're familiar with the original Gundam series, uh, the one from 79 rumbo Rawl was one of the enemies who piloted uh the first time you ever see the goof or uh, the upgraded version of the zaku but he was also one of the humanizing elements of the enemy army like the main purpose for rumbo Rawl was to make you realize that oh all of the enemies are still people like they still have these rich stories they have kids they have families they have you know so he was kind of that humanizing element and so when they turned around and they had him there in build fighter and he's kind of like a mentor to uh the main character sort of and his it's amazing. gundam or gunpla is yeah it's, it's one of the goofs yeah he's funny like like some of the so one of the going back to the kind of references one of the lines that he's known for um in the anime is again it's the first time you see something that's not a zaku and the main character's like what kind of zaku is that and he's this ain't no zaku boy no zaku and that's <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> the line that it's just like that too. Like that's the inflections nice. he uses. That's amazing. Um, I love that. And then in the anime, in this, there's like this one scene where they're battling. And I, I think, I can't remember if he's like watching them fight or if he's like looking at one of the model. I think they, they were, he's looking at a model or something, but he's like, that ain't no normal model, boy. Ain't no normal model. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I just, I laughed Those so hard flashbacks. Yeah, so it does. It has a lot of these these tie-ins. So if you're somebody like me who's grew up on Gundam, who played with the Gunpla growing up, and now you're like, oh, I'm going to watch this anime to see what it's like, you'll definitely pick up on all these small things that tie it into other series. Or tie other series to it, I guess I should say. Because all of the other, I guess, in canon for Build Fighter, the media is fictional media to them. So, like, you know, the main character talks about having watched Gundam Wing Endless Waltz, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, that's neat. Yeah. So Gundam actually exists in their universe. Yeah, like as, the, as the, the actual way shows. Act. Yeah, the anime and the, uh, yeah, the whole whole nine yards. Okay, that's cool. So it's it's really entertaining. It is silly. It's really goofy. It's not 
you know, it's not the war-torn, you know, human stories, war horror stories. It's very much lighthearted. We're going to come into this just to laugh at the silly, stu- stupid yeah, stuff. I, uh, I had to, uh, I transitioned to this after watching Iron Blood Orphans because <laughs> I needed something more light. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a romp through title, the park in a picnic. The title even makes it sound like you needed to switch over to something lighthearted. <laughs> well, yeah. This, Gundam! This, this, it's the yeah, it's Gundam Iron Blood Orphans. It's the one I think that they actually did after tra- uh, Build Fighters, but yeah. the people who did it got in, or I guess the network was really unhappy with them because it, you know it's about these kids that you know child soldiers transition to kids playing with Gundam models and fighting with them, <laughs> right? Instead of dealing with you like all these fourteen year olds fighting and dying and getting arms blown off. I will say that Iron Blooded Orphans, one of the Gundams in there, I absolutely love, and I picked up the model for it as well because of Gundam Build Fighters. So <laughs> you're saying I have a problem with Persona? I, I yeah. do not at all deny that I have a Gundam addiction. <laughs> it is very much on my sleeve. 